Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but we can at least learn a few things about it. Today, is the nature of God simple? This is a topic on which there's been a lot of debate, but the simplicity of the nature of God can definitely still be defended. However, showing this requires, first, explaining a bit about how natures relate to beings. If a certain kind of being, a dog for instance, is alive, it also has a nature which contains life, the nature of a living dog. Until it dies, it is in the nature of this dog to be alive. However, does that mean that the dog is life itself? Of course not, because there are other living things in the universe, so we can't define a single dog as though it were life itself. However, suppose that that dog were the only living thing in the universe. Would it then be life itself? Yes, after a fashion, because all of life would be contained in that single organism. So we can see that whether a nature is unique or shared by multiple beings has an effect on whether the being and the nature are the same. Now, unlike a dog, the nature of being God is only had by God. So we could say that a being has Godhood, or we could say that that same being is God. Both statements would ultimately mean the exact same thing, though. Therefore, having Godhood and being God are really one and the same. Therefore, the nature of God, Godhood, is the same as he himself. This kind of thing is not found anywhere else in the world. Sure, we can identify things by unique names to try to make a comparison similar to this, Earthhood and Earth, for example, but being Earth isn't really part of the nature of Earth. It's just a name we gave to the planet. That just leaves us with things like planethood, which many different planets share. The degree of unity that God shares with his nature is truly amazing and quite uncommon. Based on all of this, it seems we would be quite justified in concluding that God and the nature of God are one and the same. And that would certainly make his nature a great deal simpler than ours. After all, we're divided in that sense, not only between ourselves and our natures, but in the sense that many of us share the same nature of being human. So, it seems that the nature of God is quite simple, despite the fact that it's infinite. Next, is the existence of God the same as his nature? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.